Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a comparison between these three Ninja air fryers. So on the left, I got the four quart. That's model number AF101. In the middle, I got the Ninja Max XL. It's a five quart. It's model number AF141. And on the right is the Ninja Pro XL. It's a six in one, model number AF181. It's 6.5 quarts. So we got four quarts, five quarts, 6.5 quarts. Now the two on the left, they the maximum temperature is 400 degrees. The Pro, the 6-in-1, will go up to 450 degrees with Max Crisp. It has Max Crisp, Air Fry, Roast, Bake, Reheat, and Dehydrate, where these just have four. Air Fry, Roast, Reheat, and Dehydrate, same as the 4-quart. So earlier, I cooked French fries in these. They taste exactly the same. I didn't notice one getting done before the other, and they both are really crispy, and they just taste really good. Okay, let's take a look at the baskets. That's where the biggest difference is going to be, is in the basket size. We're going to measure them. Okay, so the four quart is a circle. It's about eight and a quarter inches. Let's do height. It's about three and almost three and three quarters. This one is about three and a half, and this is a square. Now the square is bigger. It's about eight and three quarters. Let's go... Depth-wise, this is the deepest, four and a half inches deep. Now, this is not a square. It's eight and a half inches that way. Almost eight and three quarter, almost eight and seven eighths front to back. Now, they all three have crisper trays. Now, this one will only go one way. Put it on. I think you can put it that way, way if you want the if you want the meat to be up higher in the tray. But this way, it's all the way down. Here, the crisper tray is square. So you can put it either way. And over here, this one, it does lift it up quite a bit higher. So with the tray out, you've got about four and a half inches. There's what the tray looks like. They all have three have a non-stick uh, surface. Okay, let's take a look. There's the forecourt. It has a heating element and a fan. There's the five quart. There's the six and a half quart. Now, as far as wattage, the four quart is 1,550 watts. These both are the same at 1,750 watts. Here's what the top of them look like. Again, these look really nice and stylish. This one's more of a circle look. And then around back, they've got this where they're gonna blow the hot air out. All three of them have it. They have a 30 inch cord and they're all two prong. Again, the displays look exactly the same on the five quart and the six and a half quart, except you got two more options over here, Max Crisp. But as far as setting the temperature and the time, over here on the forecourt, we turn it on, temperature, time. The display is a little bit brighter. We can both start and stop them. And they both have that beeping when to, let, to let you know when it's done. Okay, a few more sizes. Again, this is the one to get, I think. 10 and a half inches. This big one's almost 13 and a half inches. This one's about 12 inches. You know, these look really similar, but this one is quite a bit bigger. So if you find you need more space for cooking, definitely get this one. It retails for $170. They do put it on sale. The five and a half, or the five quart is $120. Now this one I consider kind of an older design. It's on sale right now for $90, the four quart. Uh, it normally retails for $130. Now these two are on the Ninja website. I did buy all three of these with my own money. You can still buy this one on Amazon. You can buy all three on Amazon but you do get a little bit better warranty if you buy them off the Ninja website. I'll put links to all three of these. Now, if you end up purchasing them, the product won't cost you anymore, but I do get a small commission from the sale. That is a way of supporting my channel. That way I can continue to do these videos. Yeah, I just love the looks and the design of these. These look really nice on your kitchen. This one's just an older design, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. They cook exactly the same. If you want to see more videos on robot vacuum cleaners, hit the subscribe button. I just checked out the Q Revo against the Eufy X10 Omni. Check me out on Instagram over there. If you could hit a follow, that really helps me out. I do free giveaways on Instagram and my Facebook group page. Very next video, I'm going to be comparing it to the brand new Kasori. Just finished up with the Dream L20 and the Narwhal robot vacuum cleaners. Both of them are really good, but I did a comparison to show you the differences. So again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.